passive listening is a common principle um, instruction versus how it's changed, it's moved to experiential learning. If you don't experience it, if you don't get in the arena, you don't learn. Now, with the advent of technology and internet, passive listening through TED Talks has now turned into, you know what, instead of hour lectures, two hour lectures, it went to 20 minute lectures. Now you have three minute versions, 30 second versions, right? Shorter and shorter and shorter. MOOCs that got created, online learning courses, all still following in this old way. Speaking to the most cutting edge heads in education, this is the future, experiential learning, and this is what they're investing and testing. If you're not in the arena experiencing it, you will not learn. The retention is so little. More lecturing in shorter increments doesn't make a difference. This is where you have to move. Business schools actually created this hybrid solution in the middle called case studies. But you know the difference in case studies? They said, it's not practice. You know when something has happened? 2020 hindsight. It's kind of obvious what you should have done and shouldn't have done. But you know, like if you have children right now, you're parenting, although there's all these books of what you should do. I hate to tell you, you won't know how you did until 10 to 20 years out, maybe even later. Same thing on leadership, right? You're managing your team of people. You won't know how good you were until later. That's the hard part. Why it's so hard is that you don't have perfect data and you have to figure out based on your situation what to navigate because every situation is a little different. But you won't know the right or wrong till later. And so experiencing how to navigate in that VUCA, that volatile, uncertain, complex environment, with a lot of ambiguity, is what you need practicing. 